Hello everyone, this is Jay again, and um, this time I'll be showcasing a PHP application that I wrote, a web application that allows anyone to create a Windows Phone application based on Silverlight. So as I do that, I'll walk through, I'll showcase the application features and how to do it, and also talk about the things that are listed on the right. So first app we'll create is called Tech Team Up. It's for a visitor of Pocket Now that actually went to that creative Windows Phone 7 application for it. So, if you look at the application, the first thing we need is a title. So I'll go ahead and put Tech Team Up in the title, and then we need a background. I've actually pre-created a couple of backgrounds. It's JPEG, so that's the only one I will expect except for now. But I'm, I can extend it to use PNGs and GIFs later. So I'll go ahead and select the Tech Team Up JPEG that I've created. Also, if you note, I actually say that you have to use 1400 by 800 pixels. Uh, what sized images you can actually use them smaller or bigger but it'll, the image will not look right because it'll be probably stretched to fit that particular grid that you'll see later on in the solar light application so the next thing is um, the blog speeds so almost every single website nowadays have their blog and RSS feeds so if you for tech team up we have an RSS feeds come comes up as this link. So what you do is you copy that uh, XML, the RSS link from your address bar, and you paste it onto here. For Twitter username, you would just go do the same, but instead of the link, all you need now is the username. So it would just be Tech Team Up for this particular application that we're creating. And it can also it also supports Facebook. So we'll go ahead and copy the Facebook. And if you notice, there's also a password field. For now, I'm actually doing a lot of testing purpose testing on this application, so it's not fully open to anybody. But you can ping me on uh, Twitter, and I can set up a password for you that'll work for you know a couple of minutes or hours, or maybe just so we I don't I don't want to break anything, and I don't want people to be the public to be exposed to all the bugs that are in this application just yet. So I'll go ahead and click Zap It button. So what it does is basically um, takes in all this information and then compiles a Silverlight application. Silverlight is great, uh, great because it can do a lot of data binding and that's what this is basically doing, but it's also saving some information in a um, database on my uh, website, in my web server, so that the application, application can pull it afterwards. As you can see, it's taking a long time because, first of all, I'm uploading a really big image and second of all, uh, computer compiling is with a really old uh, Dual Core laptop. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. And as you can see, it's called techteamup.zap. So once you get the zap file, there's, um, for now, the only way to uh, test it out is download the zap deployment tool. You can't download it alone, but the way you would do is you download Windows Phone 7 development tools from develop development.windowsphone7.windowsphone.com something like that. You can always Google it. Um, and then you would browse to the zap file. So right now it's in this folder and I'm going to deploy it. So this is the first time it's opening the emulator so it's going to be a little bit slow but I'll go ahead and showcase the app and While it's doing, while it's actually loading the emulator and installing it, we can go ahead and oh, there you go, it actually goes. So oh, deployment complete. So for now, as you can see, since everything is just created from imjdesign.com, uh, the application comes out as uh, with my logo, with my uh, pretty much uh, name on it. I'm going to put it to start, so you have that. So I'll go ahead and run that application and show you how it works. So we'll have a little splash screen. So as you can see, the background shows up. The tech team up. That's the title. That's where the title comes up. So read the blog over here, and then it has the tweets and the updates. So I can slide right, and there's the tweets that's com that's coming out from the t Twitter username that we put in the application, and then you have the updates that's coming out from the Facebook page. Sometimes you want to choose a background that's actually better than this because you know the grade does not fit right with blue. But other than that, I think yeah. Other than that, I think it's fine. So 
And it's a pretty so simple silverlight application. Uses um, a web browser control here to show you, you know, the descriptions fed from the XML feeds. And it does this share of uh, animations as well. So one thing you'll notice is there is a performance degradation, but um, when, when I do the animation, but that's also because I'm running so many things in the background as well, and also that this is not the final thing. And this, I'm not using the pivot control by Microsoft. I've actually created my own. But when Microsoft creates there and I embed that into it, I think it will be uh, much faster. And performance is always something that's on my list. Okay, so we've tested that application. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, exit out of the emulator. And then we're going to create another application for students teching up is done. I'm going to close that over here. And then we're going to create another application for Newegg. So as you can see, Newegg has most of their things here. One thing you'll notice, they don't have RSS listed down here, but they do have it listed down, uh, down here. So you click on RSS feeds, it will take you here, and then you can pick either of them, homepage daily deals, secure. I'll go ahead and do that. And when you click on it, you'll get this link up here. You'll copy that to create a Newegg application, basically. I'll go ahead and put the title in new, as Newegg. Select a Newegg background. Paste in the XML that I just copied. And their Twitter name comes first, so that's their Twitter name. Newegg copy it. And their Facebook is just called Newegg. So I'm going to zap this application now. And I have pre filled the password for all of these just so I don't um, have to type it in and you guys can you know, make out from the key, uh, sound of the key how far it is and then figure out what the password is. But that's that. And while it's doing that, let me talk about so what my plans are. So the first thing I want to do is probably um, figure out a way how to uh, integrate uh, Flickr on it because I feel like that's something that's not too bad either. And the YouTube integration. I've actually looked a lot, but I couldn't find some any Windows Phone 7 controls that could do FLV encoders. So YouTube is way far on the line for now. So we got a new uh, zap now. Uh, so we can go in and try and te uh, test that out. So I'm going to go back to the zap deployment tool. Again, you can download this from developing.windowsphone.com, something like that. And browse to new zap that we just got. I'm going to go ahead and deploy it. Click that time. Okay, so I'm just going to run it this time, not actually pin it. And as you can see, it's running fine. It loaded. It's loading. New egg. It's got blocked tweets and updates. It loaded the new egg with price, everything. And let's click on show the verb with them. It's a, so as you can see, it displays images and everything because this is a web browser control. You can pretty much double tap to zoom in, probably pinch to zoom in as well, I would expect. But I don't have a multi touch uh, screen, so I can't test that. You can also click on links, add to cart. By default, the web browser control uh, has script disabled, so I cannot, uh, so it does, it, it, it's new, it will display methods and we need to enable JavaScript. But that's something definitely doable. But you can add that to the cart and then it basically takes you right to the new web page. And we can still go back. And I just backed out of the application actually. Um, I can go ahead and go back in. That's fine. So, so right now, as you can see, the background I think is the only thing that's not smooth is because I'm not using a real pivot control. But when Microsoft uh, releases that, I think that'll be my first priority is to do that. And as you can see, it actually pulls the new egg icon for uh, Twitter from the Twitter profile. So that's pretty cool. And I'll get out of this now. And now we'll test a third application. So this one will be Cisco. So I would just went to Cisco's newsroom. And I'll go to one of the so their press releases and features blog. I'll go ahead and 
type in their information. So I'll call this app Cisco. I'll use a background that I created for Cisco. I'll go ahead and put in this. And I believe so Cisco's Twitter is called Cisco Systems. And their Facebook is called Cisco. So I'm going to do this. And then click that it. So I'm going to get my third application that's actually going to be a Cisco application. Now you can see that there well, the applications are really just similar. They have the same functionality and everything. But if you uh, notice something, uh, you could since the details page uses in web browser control, depending on your feeds, you can have they be completely different as well. And the background really I think makes it look really really um, different from all the other stuff. So let's set out test out our Cisco uh, app. Pull it. Let's see what I was doing. So yeah, talking about YouTube, uh, YouTube, F I can't find an FLV um, encoder, so that's one of the things. I, what I might do, I might uh, allow users to uh, upload uh, MP4s or things like that onto my own website, and then from there, I can fetch the, uh, the streams to actually display. Uh, but Flickr is something I was looking into, and it seemed really easy to do. So that might be uh, one of the first things I should try. So there's the Cisco application. As you can see, it has the Cisco background now, and yep, and the background moves. So let's read first. Uh, Cisco's apparently doing really well. I guess that's a good sign. So that was one of the things, and then I would. Um, so we've gone through three apps. So I think I've covered most of it. And for a password on Twitter. If I give you, if I do give you a password, you know it'll be something that you'll have for a maximum a, uh, an hour to create your app. And I'll probably make sure that that IP does not have like 50 million requests on the same password. So um, uh, that was our third application, and now we're going to go to the fourth application, which I believe was PocketNow. So PocketNow were uh, were the company that actually helped me win um, my HD2 and actually helped. Uh, in that way, um, initiated my learning experience for Silverlight, which Silverlight is really awesome. But if you got, if you guys ever get to learn it, I think you guys should go for it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and find their RSS link, subscribe their RSS link, and view feed XML. So that's their uh, XML. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to my PHP application, paste it here. And you know, I can do something like all cat blocks since the title is really tiny. I'll go ahead and choose the background for Pocket Now and their Twitter username. It's called Pocket Now Tweets. And it's called Pocket Now for Facebook. Okay, I'm going to create a zap it. And once again, performance is definitely one of the things on my list. So I'm very eagerly waiting for Microsoft to release their the controls, panel controls, and everything basically that has. So I can create awesome apps. Okay, there's popping now. So what I actually uh, intentionally want to do afterwards is if someone does not put in a Twitter, then don't even create a Twitter page. And this doesn't have to be you know a company creating their application. It could be something like you just want like in gadget feeds. So just put in the Engadget feeds and Engadget username, and all you see is Engadget. So, all right, let's test out our final application. I'll pop it now. Let's deploy it. See how it works. Okay, it's been deployed. So, wait. So, there's pocket now. And one other thing I think I, I would like to do is um, probably make these. Twitter uh, short links clickable. I think that's not too bad to do. Apart, apart from that, I think it's fine. Uh, so that's the end of the presentation. And once again, if you have anything you would like to um, give me feedback on or request password access, just uh, ping me on Twitter. All right, thank you.